Hello everyone, welcome to your 2019 New Year Yoga For You 5 Day Yoga Challenge. Today is day 3 and our focus is balance. started at the top of our mat, feet in the number 11 or just standing in mountain pose, Tadasana. Shoulders reach up, back and down. Fingertips reach toward the floor. Really feel the rooting of your feet into the mat, waist down. The energy line is grounding and waist up. You're lifting, finding openness across the chest. Crown of your head reaches up toward the ceiling, so you've got a lot of space here. Rock a little left and right. Palms face forward, fingertips reach down. And begin to breathe. Balancing here, breathing in. And breathing out, finding balance first in the breath here. Close your eyes if that feels okay. And if not, just have a soft gaze. And let that even breath in and out start to ground you. And bring you a sense of calm. And then from here, you can open your eyes if you want to. Rock forward and back, forward and back. So from the balls of your feet to the heels of your feet. And then side to side. And do that a couple of times alternating. Forward, back, side to side. And then really settle in again. A slight bend in the knees. Just finding the strong, tall mountain pose. Starting here right away with this idea of creating roots, strength. The legs are active, the arms are active, the abs are engaged, and your chin is parallel to the floor. And go ahead and shake all that out and just find some bounce here, some buoyance, and then settle back in, rock forward, back, rock forward, back, find that mountain pose again. And as you inhale, sweep your arms wide, out and up, take up lots of space. You can tip the chin up and look toward those fingertips if you like, and then exhale your hands right down to the center. Again, inhale, reach the arms up, and this time palms come together, and as you exhale, lean toward one side. So just really keeping the shoulders stacked, and you can kind of watch if this starts to happen. Then really open that top shoulder. And if this doesn't feel good on the hands to have both arms up or the arms, reach one arm down and the other arm up, or you can even take that top arm to the hip. We're just getting a side body stretch here, so do whatever version works for you. On your next inhale, reach up, lift up. Exhale over to the other side, finding the option that works best for you here. Warming up the side body, just stretching out. I'm going to go ahead and drop that bottom arm. Reach, 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 breathe. Find that steady breath in and out. Come back to center, inhale. Continue this way on your own. Let the exhale be a side bend. And let the inhale bring you back up. Following your own breath here. Make this your last one to both sides. 
all meet with the inhale with the arms up and bring your hands back down to center. A little bend and bounce in the knees here and then we'll move right into half sun salute. So inhale, sweep the arms wide and exhale, fold forward, sweeping the arms out, finding that forward fold, whatever works for you here. You don't have to go all the way down. Half lift, flat back, shoulder blades down, reach through the crown of your head. Your exhale is up, forward fold. Inhale, arms go out and up. And hands come back down. One and more like that. Inhale, reach. You should be familiar with this if you've been following the challenge. Your exhale comes to your fold. Your inhale is that half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, and your exhale is a fold. Now stay here and find some action here. And when I say that, I mean legs active, knees not locked out, but just nice strong legs. Activate into the hips and the back. Have the neck nice and long, back nice and long. The legs are really working here. Bring your hands to your hips, and as you inhale, come up just halfway, leaning with your head, neck, and chest. And with your exhale, fold. We're working on strength in the hips and hamstrings here. Keep the back as straight as you can, as long as you can. Two more like that. Inhale, half lift. Your exhale is a fold forward. Use your core. Maybe this time reach the fingertips back behind you. Inhale, halfway up. And your exhale is a fold. Release the hands down. Bend the knees as deeply as you need to to step back, all the way back to downward facing dog. This little upside down V, Adho Mukha Svanasana, and pedal out your feet, really stretching the calves. And your alignment here, try to have your wrists and shoulders and hips roughly in alignment, but not hyperextended here. So for strength and stability, we want a lock, a lot of power here. Palms on the floor, wrists and shoulders and hips, one straight line. Maybe take that bend in one knee and then the other. Once again, let your head rest. On your next exhale, bend your knees as much as you need to to walk your hands all the way back to a forward fold at the other end of your mat. Breathe. Inhale, lift your head, neck, chest, and heart. Come up with a nice flat back. Arms go wide. Reach up. Look up if you want to and bring the hands down to your heart. Bring your hands to your hips. So we're going to work on chair here. This is another pose that I like to do to prep for balanced postures. So before we do that, just a little bend and straighten in the knees. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Hands on your hips here at first. I really want you to feel the hips as they're sinking. Feet are about hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees and sit as if you're sitting in a chair. So watch here that we're not arching and we're not really tucking the pelvis. We're just finding a neutral spine. So you can always find that by going back to mountain. Tadasana. Sit back into the heels, bend the knees and it's as if your bottom is just reaching for a chair. This may be different from how you've done this in yoga classes in the past, so say hello to your quadriceps and you're welcome. Breathe. Keep breathing. Find a focal point, something to look at. I like to look forward and then down a little. Bring your hands back to your hips, stand up, back in mountain pose. Shift your weight to your left foot and then take your heel to the ankle of the left foot, the opposite heel to the ankle of the left foot. So moving into tree here, 
versions of tree. Now, you're always welcome to put a hand on the wall. Just be where you are today. This is part about finding balance is we're not the same every day. We're not even the same every hour. So let yourself be where you are. So this would be where we would start. You want to soft bend in that standing leg. And then maybe we move that foot, the bottom of the right foot up to the inside to calf. And then see what's happening with balance. Check in with the shoulders. Are the shoulders over the hips? Are the hips over the foot? Do you have a focal point? Now from here, we're gonna try raising the arms up, inhale, and as you exhale, hands to hips come right into chair. Breathe. Now for the next side on tree, we're just gonna move right into it. So as you inhale, keep the hands here, straighten into the right leg, and find tree on the opposite side. So the knee is nice and open as it, as it can be with the hips facing forward, shoulders are down. You have a lot of length from your foot that's rooting down up through the crown of your head. Lift those arms up, inhale, reach up. Exhale right back to that chair, hands to the hips. Maybe you sink a little lower this time. Think about belly in, heels back, weight back in the heels. Maybe find that little buoyancy there again. That always helps me to kind of settle in and find where I need to be with my balance. And then maybe hands at the heart here. I'm gonna do one more tree on each side dynamically. So root into that left foot. Inhale, arms come up as you lift the foot, wherever you want it to be, just not on the knee preferably not pressure on the knee. And then as you exhale, come down right into that chair and let your next inhale maybe take you to the other side. If it's not working with the arms, keep them on your hips. Find your focal point, your drishti. And your exhale brings you back to chair. We'll do one more time each side. Inhale, rooting into that foot. Lift, focal point, so much going on. Balance, what's happening with your breath? Check in. Exhale brings you down. And we do one last one on the other side. When you find yourself back in chair, we'll all meet there. Inhale, stand up, arms reach up, widen up, exhale, Fold forward, find your forward fold. Walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Breathe and just let this be an easy dog. Hands or shoulder distance apart. Your legs do not have to be straight and your heels do not have to touch the floor. This is a resting pose. Doesn't always feel like it. Breathe in, breathe out. Look forward, we're gonna walk toward our hands. Remember you have the option of coming here and stepping forward. Otherwise, we're bending the knees, walking our feet to our hands, finding that forward fold. Breathing in, breathing out. Take the arms wide, lift with your core, coming up with a nice flat back. Reach up and exhale, hands come to heart center. I'm gonna step back toward the top of my mat here. So we're gonna do that again, but maybe add on and change a couple of things. So inhale, reach up, exhale, chair, right into chair here. Then let your inhale bring you to tree, just like we did before, standing on the left leg. Stay here though. Bring your hands down to your heart or to your hips or your waist. With your exhale, bring the bent knee forward, flex into that foot and raise the knee. We call this sometimes in yoga, uh, karate kid. So abs are in, 
lifting up through the waist, rooting down from the waist through the heel of the standing leg. The bent knee is flexed, and we've got this really nice lock here. The hips aren't swaying, and this, this hip of the bent knee isn't pushed way forward. It's all hugged back, lifting up. Ribs are nice and placed over the hips. Inhale, reach the arms up if you can. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Find your version of tree here on the side. I know there's a lot going on in that left quadricep. It's fine. And then with your next exhale, take your hands to your hips and find a chair. Breathe. Take a round of breath here. Really sit back in the heels. Let your spine be nice and long from the tailbone through the crown of your head. Breathe in, breathe out. The breath is such a great indicator of if you're creating balance in your body. So let it be even in and out. On your next inhale, hands come to your heart, find tree. Inhale the arms up for tree. And then exhale hands down, bring that bent knee forward and flex into the bent knee foot. Shoulders are down, standing leg is slightly bent. Check in with your form. So you've just got your little karate kid going on here on this side. Hips are level. This front, this bent knee is really, that leg is really hugging in. Now take the arms up. Inhaling, exhaling hands to the heart as you find tree on this side once again. Breathe. Hands to your hips with an exhale, find a chair. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, stand up, sweep the arms wide, take up lots of space, maybe look up this time. Exhale, right into your forward fold, all the way down. Inhale here, exhale, step back, find downward facing dog again. Breathe. Come forward into plank, whichever version you want. So knees can be down or knees can be up. We'll take those side planks we've been working on. Doesn't matter which side you start with. If you're modifying from your knees, then you just roll open and you're here. At least this is the modification we've been using. And then you exhale back to plank and then you do the other side. Inhale, reach, and exhale here. If you're doing it from a regular plank, and what I like to do is roll open so that my feet are one in front of the other. It feels much more stable, and I can really hold myself here and feel the ab work happening on the side. Your exhale will bring you to the center, and your inhale will open you up to the other side. And we'll continue like this two more times, or you can go to child's pose. Your exhale is plank. Your inhale is side plank. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale is plank. Inhale is side plank. One more round like that, just on your own. Whichever version you prefer. When you get back to plank, come to hands and knees. Sit back on your heels and just take a couple of circles to the wrists. Come forward to tabletop. One more little balance thing here. Pressing the hands, palms firmly into the mat. Send your right foot back, curl the toes 
stretch the calf. We did this in an earlier video, but this time we're going to go ahead and lift that leg, keep it parallel, so not way up here and not turned out, just toes facing down, and then spider walk the fingers of the opposite hand forward, reach like you're going to shake someone's hand, breathe, and set it back down and do the other side, inhale, exhale, extend the leg back, lift it up. Really want the core working here, belly button toward the spine, and then reach that hand out. Come back down, do one more each side. Inhale from tabletop, exhale, extend. Inhale down, exhale, extend. Now maybe you just do the legs, maybe you just do the hands. You find what works for you. This will be my last one. Now from tabletop, we'll do a great shoulder stretch that I really like. We call it thread the needle. So take your right hand and just take the top of your hand to the floor and then you'll feed it behind the other hand and start to lower down. And then look at where your hips are in comparison to your knees and see if you can find some alignment there. And I like to reach my other hand forward, but you could just use it as a prop. Here I get a lot more in the shoulder of the arm that's extending forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then you use that prop hand to come back up and just switch sides when you're ready. So take the twist on that exhale. Link through the crown of your head. Inhale, exhale, feed that hand through. Breathe. Maybe close your eyes. Think about this idea of balance. We start to learn when we feel out of balance, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. Learning or patterning and little things we can do to just move back toward balance. Always moving in the direction of balance. Bring that prop hand back. You have it extended. Come back up and from here, let's do a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round. One more like that. Inhale, belly drops, tailbone and crown of the head reach up, and exhale round. Let's do one more. And walk your knees through and come to seated. Do a little bit of core here. Those of you who practice with me a lot know that I love my core. I love my core work. So let's take hands behind you, fingertips toward your bottom, and be um, where you can kind of bend into your elbows and not create any stress in the shoulders. So the chest and heart are lifted. Bend into the elbows a little and start to lift one leg. And then maybe both. And you can play back and forth with that. And then tap, down, tap, tap, switching, tap the toe to the floor, switch sides, switch sides. Now if this feels okay and you want to bring an arm forward or both arms forward, then do that. Keep tapping the toes, tapping the toes. Reach behind the thighs and come and lean forward onto your thighs. Another version we can do here, we can have just feet down, send your hands forward, shoulders are down, inhale here, exhale, lean back, it's kind of like you're skiing, lean, 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 inhale forward, exhale back, 
find a breath that works for you. Inhale forward, exhale back. If your feet come off the floor, that's okay. Just keep the toes reaching for the floor. Inhale forward and exhale back. Now stay here. Try not to round a lot in the back, still leading with the head, neck, chest, and heart. And then maybe you lift those legs, maybe one at a time. Try, be where you are. And maybe take the hands back, feet down, fold over the legs again. And then slowly, you want to sit about the center of your mat, slowly start to roll all the way down to the mat. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Have your feet and thighs and knees together. And then let the knees go out to the sides. So reclined cobbler here, Supta Baddha Konasana. If you know that having your knees like this, or if you can feel that this hurts or is hard on your hips, you can use pillow, prop it up. This is actually how I like to do it sometimes just because it feels good. So you would want one on both sides if you needed it. The main thing is you want to be where you can have some ease here. So I have my heels generously far from my hips here. Um, you could walk them closer. It just really depends on what feels good to you. Tuck the shoulder blades under and then take the arms out to the side. Just a little A-frame here. the hands, fingers, wrist. Arms, elbows, tops of the arms, shoulders, head and neck. Be really, really soft. And for some reason, opening the hips like this doesn't feel good. You can always just bend your knees, feet on the floor. So find what works for you. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you rest here, think about balance. What physically throws you off balance? What's one thing you can do? to move your physical body toward balance. Same with mental and emotional. What throws you off? What is one thing you can do in a positive direction toward mental and emotional balance? Breathe in. distance, maybe even as wide as your mat. And as you exhale, let the knees both go one direction. So not stacking the knees here, just keeping the space between them. And then maybe turn your head toward the opposite shoulder. Breathe. Keep it simple. With your next inhale, bring the knees back to center and exhale them over to the other side, turning the head if that feels good, keeping the softness and lightness in the fingertips and hands and wrists. take a couple of rounds of breath here to just find a comfortable way to rest flat on your back in Shavasana. Stretch the legs out, 
Maybe you reach the arms overhead and then sweep them down by your sides, tucking shoulder blades under. Maybe take the heels toward the corners of your mat. So a really wider um, stance in the feet. And if this even or deep breathing is new to you, you can always take the hand right to your belly. And just focus on the feeling of the breath in and out. Rising and falling. And perhaps the next time you feel off balance in any way, you can take a moment for five to ten rounds of breath where you breathe in evenly with your exhale. So maybe you breathe in for four and out for four. or five or six, or whatever works for you. But if you can bring balance to the breath, you can send a signal to your body, to your mind, that you are intentionally moving toward Body rest heavily on your mat, really feeling a sense of surrender and letting go. But at the same time, let your heart be light and joyful. Maybe even give yourself a smile. What are you grateful for today? Welcome to pause the video and rest here, breathing, feeling. tips along through your toes, maybe make fists with your feet and your hands, and then bend your knees, make your way onto one side using your bottom arm as a little pillow and rest. Close your eyes here, breathe, and just let your mind and body feel the benefits of this practice. As you are ready, press your hand into the floor, pushing the floor away. Come up to a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. Eyes closed. And let your palms just rest lightly on your thighs. Let's bring the hands to heart center and let's hold there this idea of balance. Balance for you, balance for your life, for your loved ones. And extending that out community by community to the whole world. With an intention of balance and peace and calm. Thank you so much for practicing day three with me, Balance. Namaste.